today I'm looking around the Sea Lion C390. The boat is 39 feet long and it's a boat that is truly designed for families and different generations to be cruising together. What you can't see now because it's below us and in the water is the stem. It's very upright so that's something special because it cuts through the waves in order to minimize the wave movement in the back of the boat. The same reason uh, is behind the shape of the keel. It's a V-shape and very sharp, so that too just cuts through the waves and minimizes all the movement in the back. So that of course makes it safer as well for children, for the elderly, for everybody who doesn't like, like waves so much, but still wants to go cruising. I'm sitting on the sun lounge in the bow of our boat. As you can see, the cushions are laid down completely flat. So there's enough room for at least three people. So if there's little children around, it's, it's a great place to play out in the sun. It's possible to include an option to put up the back, so it's a nice little sofa with a backrest. Or it's also possible to create more bench style seating. So that's all up to you and you can decide what you want in your boat. What I notice as well is right here in the front, there's two cup holders there. That's really convenient when you're out here lounging and you have your cocktails right next to you. That's on both sides. So everybody is well fed and watered while they're out here. For whoever doesn't like the direct sun too much, there's also an option to include a bimini that will be covering this whole bow area. So it's a nice shady area then, but you're still outside. Right in the bow of our boat, we have the anchor chain. You can see it here. It's an electric anchor winch. The anchor is right in front there. We don't need it today because we're still in the marina. But if it would go down, we have a little step there as well that we can just step onto to check for the anchor chain or for example also check how much space we have in front of a pier of a marina for example. On the left side we have the anchor locker. There's a lot of space inside for the anchor chain down there and there's a second one on the right side which is perfect for all the fenders that we need to store back there so nothing is lying around. Walking along the sidewalk here, I notice that the railing is really high. It goes up to my hip. So when you have to move around the boat or if you're in the port having to look down, there's no way you can fall off. So it's really easy to stay safe on the boat while on the water or also in the port. And of course, it's also really easy for children. So if they want to walk along here, they always have a place to hold on to. And for the taller persons on the left side here, on top of the uh, roof, there's also a handrail that accompanies me the entire way, so there's always a place to hold on. I'm standing in the very aft of our Sea Line 390. You see, I stand on the bathing platform. In this very model, it's a fixed platform, so I don't have to do anything in order to use it. I just come down the fixed steps, they're rather wide as well, and I only open the locker, take out the ladder, and put it in right next to me to get down into the water. If you want even more comfort in the back of the boat, there's an option to enlarge the bathing platform even further, so it's even wider. And of course, then there is more space for all your kids, for all the family to be on the bathing platform. There's another option where you can choose to have the bathing platform hydraulically operated. So there's the possibility to have it in a higher or a lower position completely automatically. And then of course, it's easier to go into the water because you're even lower on the water line. In that case, you can also choose to include a barbecue area right here that is directly accessible from the bathing platform. And there would be a grill, there would be a sink, there would be lighting and another part of worktop. So it's really like a real outdoor kitchen that you can have right here and right in the middle of the action where everybody is back here on the bathing platform. When you get out of the water and come back into the cockpit area, there's also a little shower hidden here it's just covered away so it's not lying around anywhere and it has hot and cold water in order to hose you down to not bring all the salt back on the boat. This is the cockpit area. You can see I'm sitting on a very large sofa back here. It's very comfortable and what I especially like is the material. It's a special outdoor cushion so they can be left outside the entire time. It doesn't matter if they get wet, if it's sunny, if it's rainy, if it's snowing maybe even. Um, they can just stay out here and then you can just clean them up a little while, uh, before you sit down and you don't have to store them anywhere. They can just stay where they are. 
So that's an option. You can change the colors and the materials of pretty much everything on board. So this boat can be exactly like you want it to be. So if it's the outdoor cushions, the indoor cushions, the color and material of the floorboards, even the color of the hull, that is all up to you and you can decide what you want your boat to look like. Where I'm sitting here, you can see there's a lot of room. So if you use the boat just for a day trip, it has space for up to 12 people. You have seen that in the front of the boat, there's so much sitting space back here as well. And here you even have the big table. Now it's folded away, but I can just open it. And then it's a nice full size table that we have here. So really nice for eating outdoors as well. What I can also choose to have in my boat is that this whole table can be lowered and then it's on the same level as the rest of the seating area. We can put down another cushion and then we can create instead of the sitting area, a sunbathing area, additionally to the one that we have in the front of the boat. Above my head we have a really nice sunroof that's of a soft material, we can have it in a harder material as well and we can just slide it to the back and then we don't even have a sunroof over our heads anymore, we just sit out here in the bright sunshine. So this is the sunroof, I'm attempting to open it. Yeah, it's really easy, it just slides down and then it's out of the way and we have the nice sunlight from above. Even when it's dark out here in the cockpit area, we can just switch on the lights that are hidden away in the roof here. And then we have a beautiful atmosphere out here, even at nighttime. Behind me, you can see there's also again, a bit to hold on to. And below there's a nice cupboard, very big, just for storage outside here in the cockpit area. When I'm walking towards our interior part of the boat, I come to this huge door that we have. It's a foldable door that opens directly into the saloon. And it just slides open and is out of the way. And then you can see what a wide entrance we have to our saloon area. Right next to the big sliding door, we have a window that opens completely. It doesn't just open a little. When I let go, it just opens the entire way and creates this beautiful opening. It's wider than myself and it gives the whole interior this kind of convertible car feeling. So everything is open towards the aft area of the boat. There's a lot of fresh air coming in and it just creates a lot of natural light in here as well. sliding door and the big window open up to the pantry area but first there's a lot of room here to just store everything that you need in your everyday life. Back here we have the control panel for for example the outdoor lighting to control everything there. You can also see it's possible to include a TV and a whole entertainment system into your boat. Down here when I open the top there's also a lot of control panels down there, for example, for the entertainment system, for the engines, and also, for example, to lower the table that we have seen in the cockpit to make the nice sun lounge area in the cockpit. Just around the corner down here, we have a massive fridge. So it looks like the one at home. Normal fridge size and really easy to fill with everything that you need. So where there's a fridge, there should also be a pantry. And although we can't see it, it's really there. So I just open up the top of the worktop here. It sticks up there and then we have our stove top. We have the sink. That's also hidden away. And then I just have my pantry right there whenever I need it. Below, we also have the stove. Uh, the oven then we have a lot of storage space so whenever we open something there's always the storage for everything that we need our cutlery our um, everyday objects that we need for the kitchen 
Right across on the other side of the pantry, there's an option to include an extra ice fridge. So for example, to keep your drinks cold in the summer or to just have a nice stock of ice cubes ready. So that's just here. There's also an option to include a dishwasher, for example. So that's all up to you, whatever you need that can be arranged inside your boat. Now I'm sitting on the big sitting area in the saloon. You have noticed that there were no steps on the way from outside to inside. So the saloon is right next to the cockpit area and everybody is right next to each other during the day. There's also a lot of space here. So it's an L-shaped sofa that we have here. We can actually include like a U-form sofa as well, if that's what you would like to have. Right now, the table looks like a little coffee table, but I can as well pull it out and then it's a good size dining table as well. The rear side of the sofa in the saloon can be rearranged into a bench to look to the forward side toward the direction of driving. And I will show you how it is rearranged. And it's done already. So it's just a few movements with the hands and then we have this nice bench here. So this is the bench that I have just converted from the sofa area. If you decide to have people on overnight stays uh, on board as well, and maybe that expands the number of cabins available, it's also an option to include a table that can be put down and then you have another bed area up here in the saloon. While I'm sitting here, I have a perfect 360 degree view out the front window. I even have a little storage space here. So it might be really fun for children to kind of join the person driving the boat because they feel like they're driving it and then they can just have all their sea charts here to follow the progress as well. I'm sitting in the helmsman seat now. I'm sitting a bit above the normal sofa area. So I'm a little raised so I have perfect vision all along the front of the boat. I can see right up to the anchor there. I've got everything that I need right here. Also down below we have all the controls that I need. So whoever is driving the boat or whoever is in the helmsman seat has all the control right next to him. The seat is also so wide that a second person of my size, size could easily sit next to me. And as you can see, there's everything that I need. I can steer, so I have a normal steering wheel. I also have a joystick steering, if that's what I prefer. I have a lot of knobs here that control the horn or for example the windshield um, wipers that are in front here so they don't impede my 360 degree vision. Then of course the panels for the C chart and everything else that I need. I get all the information con uh, concerning water, wind, whatever I need. So everything that can possibly happen I control from here. I have two engines in the back, one starboard, one port side. As you can see, I'm leaning outside from the helmsman position. So there's a side door here that I can open. It gives me direct access to the front of the boat, to the back of the boat, just to the sidewalk. And while driving, especially when you're in the port, and for example, you have somebody in front of the boat bringing out the fenders, it's very easy to communicate with them. And of course, it also creates a really nice cross breeze. So we have a lot of fresh air inside our saloon area as well. I have opened the blinds now at our skylights so you can see there's a lot more natural light coming into our saloon so it's filled with light I don't even feel like I'm inside of course when it's dark there's also enough light sources here so we have a lot of lights along the ceiling and also some indirect lighting just above the windows which of course now we can't see because the sun is shining so much another very cool thing that we have is right above me here one of the skylights as an option can be opened so it's just a push of a button and then the skylight starts to open up and I get even more fresh air and even more light inside.
first door on the left when I come downstairs from the saloon is the guest cabin. It's a twin cabin that we have here with two single beds, a nightstand in the back, also some reading lights. It's not standing height, but as you can see, there's plenty of room, so no way for me to bump my head. And as you can also see, behind me there's a huge window. It's right above the water line in the hull, so a lot of natural light coming in here as well. So for a guest cabin, it's very bright. I even have a skylight above the door, so there's lots of light coming in. Of course, as a cabin, there's also a lot of storage space, a nice cupboard there. And on the starboard side of the boat, we can have another cabin that would usually be a double cabin with one double bed or a storage area. That's an option that you can decide. You can also decide to have a double bed in here. So the maximum amount of beds that we can have on board is six plus the bed that we can have upstairs in the saloon when we lower the table and have the sofa extended to a bed as well. I'm sitting now in the master bedroom. It's the furthest room away from the door to the saloon, but still, as you can see, a lot of light comes in here. So even though it's the lowest part of our boat, there's a lot of windows on both sides in the hull, so we get the side light as well. We have a window even above the headboard there. And above me we have skylights. Now they're covered because we have the cushions out on the um, foredeck. But that of course helps to keep the master bedroom nice and cool during the day and in the evening we can open them up to get a bit more light in as well. You can see the bed is really big, so it's almost two meters long, no problem for a tall person and it's very wide as well. On both sides we have little sidewalks, so we can actually walk up here, we don't have to jump in the bed from the foot part and we have a lot of storage space right next to the bed. So on both sides we have little cupboards on the side. We can store something behind here. On the top we can also store something that's not falling out because there's a nice little step up here. We even have a little storage space down here where we can put in, for example, our morning slippers. And as you can see behind me, we have a really nice headboard. So there's not so much of what you expect inside a boat, but more of a hotel bed. And next to it, the really nice indirect lighting as well. So it creates a mood lighting in the evenings if you wish it. And if you need more light, we have ceiling lights as well. And there's two big mirrored cupboards on both sides. So for each who's uh, staying in here, we have a separate cupboard and over there the door to the ensuite bathroom that's directly accessible. I'm in the ensuite bathroom that's directly accessible from the master cabin. As you can see, there's a lot of room to move around. We have the separate toilet, so there's no way the toilet will get showered when you're under the, sh the shower, which I like really much. On the other side, we have the sink. We have a big mirror that can be opened to re reveal more storage space for everything that you need in the bathroom. Behind the sink, we have a window that goes out right above the waterline. I personally like that a lot because that makes the light come towards you and not from the top. So especially the ladies will know the advantage of that. So it's much easier to get all your makeup in the right place. Then behind me, here's the shower. I will just step back. As you can see, there's a lot of height above me. So even a tall person can stand easily and there's a lot of room to move around. We have a little bench on the side, so you can actually sit down, maybe if there's a bit of waves going on, it's not a problem here as well. We have a little um, side storage here for all the necessities, and we have a beautiful rain shower, so a real shower like the one at home. And we have a full-length glass door that can be closed, so the rest of the bathroom will not be completely wet after the shower. This was the tour of our Sea Lion C390. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I certainly had fun exploring everything inside and outside. You have found that the boat is perfect for families. So every family member would find their favorite place here. I could imagine the children playing in the front, the grandparents enjoying a cocktail in the back, and the parents sitting inside reading a good book, for example. So I think it's very perfect even for different generations to be traveling together. And it's certainly a good boat 
to be away for a couple of days or even weeks because it has everything that you need for your everyday life. You have also found that you can create your own 390 in any way that's possible. So just contact one of your dealers. There are actually 73 dealers of sea line boats in 40 different countries. So I'm pretty sure there's one in your area as well. Just tell him exactly what you want and the boat can be made exactly to fit your needs. There's actually a possibility to have the engines refigured as well. So here on this boat, the engines are below the table in the cockpit, but you can also opt for two engines that are in the back of the boat. So they're visible, easier for maintenance, etc. That's a completely different model, but inside it's very similar, but still up to your taste, depending on your favorite colors, your favorite materials, and then your boat will be exactly that, your personal boat and exactly what you wanted.